Shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust, some are calling for an industry overhaul. But it's not the first time that people have been shot or killed on film sets. Um, and sometimes shortcuts are taken or steps are rushed. Los Angeles City Council member Paul Koretz joins a growing number of lawmakers and even some filmmakers calling for real firearms and ammunition to be banned from film sets. Death really shouldn't be an option on a film shoot that uses guns. It's time to make a change. But on the industry side, some argue what happened in New Mexico was an exceptional tragedy. Armorers have been using weapons for 100 years on screen um, very safely. So this is, this is um, an anomaly. Brooke Yeaton, a prop master, armorer, and vice president of IATSE Chapter 478, the union behind entertainment, says the union sets strong standards and protocols for handling weapons. I think that Hollywood can police itself. I think they have great protocols until they turn out not to be so great because someone doesn't follow them perfectly. The use of computer-generated special effects has been suggested as a substitute. Yeaton says it's just not the same. The compression of, the, of a real weapon affects the atmosphere and the set and the actor's reaction. And of course, the lighting of the flash itself is very hard to duplicate. Councilmember Koretz argues movies are make-believe anyway. Why should the guns be real? I think that it's, it's absolutely possible to do this seamlessly. That Los Angeles City Council member is in support of proposed statewide legislation and is calling for a similar ordinance to be adopted in the city. The governor of New Mexico is asking the movie industry to review its safety standards, or she says the state will come up with its own mandates. We Kelly. do know technology now exists that never existed like this before. And in some cases, they say it's actually cheaper. Wow. Valerie, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.